Welcome back to the show. It's time to get on with the proper programming, back to the regular programming stuff like we were talking about last year. If you've missed the last episode, if you wonder where I've been for the past 12 months, then go back to the previous show and you can see a summary of what I've been up to. The very short version is I was building my coaching business and then decided to write a book all about the stuff we were talking about last year. Uh, And to go deeper into it really, one of my main aims with all of this information is that it is so valuable and it has helped me to transform my life in so many ways. My, My life is from an internal perspective and most of the external world completely unrecognizable from what it used to be. The people I've coached all around the world at this point have also changed their lives. I've seen it apply and work for everybody in every situation, no matter what the problem is. And I thought, what's another good way of getting this information out to as many people as possible? That is to write a book. So that's one of the things I've been doing. The book is about to launch. I'm going to tell you all about it in summary in this episode. And then in the shows to come, what I'm going to do is talk about each part of the book, chapter by chapter, and walk you right the way through it. So as much value as I can possibly give you completely free of charge. If you wanna buy the book, it will be relatively low cost as well. You will see, if you were with me last year, and if if you weren't, go back and have a look. The last episode I did uh, 12 months ago now um, was called The Root Causes of Everything, and I tried to summarize everything that I've been working on and we've been talking about with the acronym FATE, F-A-T-E. When I started to dig into this more for the purposes of writing a book and getting deeper into the coaching and then sharing a bit of this as I was away last year, I realized that didn't go deep enough. There was too much in this to be summed up in one very short acronym. So I'm going to leave up that old episode because this is part of the process and I think this is really important. Something we don't see in life enough in public is people doing things and then changing their minds and then doing them again. So it's really important for me that I share with you, and this is a huge part of the book, and if you've you've watched or listened to previous episodes of this, hopefully you'll think this already, I like to share the shit that I do as well, the mistakes I make, because we live in a world in which we're all led to believe everybody else is fine and everybody else is successful and we're failures and there's something wrong with us. When the secret or one of the secrets is, that's just bullshit everybody suffers everybody struggles one of the lines i say to everyone i work with is we're all just living the same life in different houses one of the biggest gifts i think i give to people when i coach them and the gift that was given to me when i started working with a therapist and coaches was letting people know that the things they're going through are just the same as everybody else one of the biggest problems we all have is thinking that we're on our own and whatever it is we're feeling or experiencing or thinking it's because we're strange or we're damaged or we're broken and that's just not the case. So it's really important for me to share with you when I make mistakes or when I just change my mind. So this is a perfect example. You will see how this has developed from that last video last year. I think it might've been number 19, the FATE acronym and how that's it was summarized then to how I've now expanded it into a, a whole book. And that book then takes you step by step through the entire process I would take you through if I was coaching you one-on-one. So the idea is you get thousands of pounds worth of value in a little book. Well, quite a big book, but it takes you through it step by step. The book is split into three parts, basically, to try and make it easy to break down. The first part is called Heal, which is H-E-A-L. The second part is Transform. And the third part is Solving Life's Problems. So the idea of this is the work I take people through is firstly to figure out all the reasons that are things that are wrong in your life, which is basically go back to childhood and deconstruct the human we've been built to be. We'll get into that in way more detail in the future. The second part is to then transform into the human you want to be, which is why those things are now split in two. And the third part of the book, I realized if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be confident enough to call a book how to solve any problem in life, you'd best put some stuff at the end that shares some big problems and how to solve them. So some of the things I tackle at the end of this book, which if this doesn't make it value for money for 15 quid or whatever it ends up being, I don't know what we, what would. We talk about love and romantic relationships. We talk about healing illnesses in the body. And we talk about 
how to change the world. As I say, nothing like taking on the big topics. But the whole point of this is that it doesn't matter what your problem is, from the smallest problem in the world to the biggest problem in the world. This stuff I have witnessed, and I wanted to test this last year when I started coaching people, because I believe this would be the case, and it has been. This applies to everything I've ever seen. Whenever anyone comes to me with a problem, no matter how big or small, we work on this stuff, it solves the problem. It's happened in my life, it's happened in everybody I've worked with, to different degrees, different elements, different levels of, of issues. I guarantee whatever the issues are in your life, this will apply to you as well. So let's just run through them all quickly. The first section of the book is HEAL. That, as, we, as I said, is H-E-A-L. The H stands for home. The E is emotional repression. The A is adaptation and the L is low self-worth. So home is all about going back to the beginning. This is, we, what we just need to go from the very start, whatever your issue is, and this already it might start sound might start sounding bananas but no matter what your problem is it started when you were a kid basically what we're seeing now in the world we live in is a manifestation of decades and decades of programming and shit that we picked up and we were taught when we were children and we just replicate them over and over again we've built societies that then make them worse and they add on to the problems so we've got to go right back to the beginning that's why we start with home the E is emotional repression. That is the second part. If you were watching or listening to any of this last year, you will already have heard me talk about some of this stuff. We're going to get into it in a more structured way, in order, step by step. So emotional repression is all about when we're kids, we're taught to start turning off and repressing a whole host of emotions that we should experience naturally. And we do experience naturally when we're, when we're born, and then we're taught they're not good. And that's all a part of where we go on to, which is, the A, adaptation. As soon as we're taught a part of us isn't good enough, for example, feeling angry, feeling sad, feeling depressed, feeling jealous, we adapt. So one of my favorite parts of this work, again, if you go back, there's, a, there's already a multiple personality episode from last year, which we started talking about some of this. We'll get into it in much more detail as we go through here. It's one of my favorite parts of this work and generally speaking, blows people's minds when we do it. It's all about how when we start adapting our own, when we, when we start repressing our emotions as kids, we start to adapt our personalities and we start to create new personalities. And where that leads us to is the L for the end of the first section, where when we feel like parts of us are not good enough, we have low self-worth, low self-esteem. There's lots of different ways you can describe it. It ultimately is that feeling that I am not good enough as a human. So that's the first part of the book. That's we delve we delve right back into childhood and going into what has what has caused us to be the person we are today. How did we become who we are? Because remember, we all we start off by thinking we're just who we are. But this the way I like to think of it is this human that you are right now is a human that was built by other people without you realizing. You were programmed from the moment you set came out, it bounced out into this world to whatever age you are right now. You were programmed and what we want to do with that first part is figure out where that programming came from and start to undo the programming. The second part, transform. So one of the biggest sections of all of the work I do and when people ask me to sum this stuff up and where's the, I've been doing loads of podcast interviews recently, being interviewed by other people and everyone always asks, you know, the tip, the hack, where everyone always wants that. The real answer to that question is there isn't one. You need to do all of this work for it to work. For, you need to do all of the work for it to be productive or successful. The, but this one, the T in transform, take responsibility and be kind to yourself. If I have to pick one thing out, it's this. So one of the problems we face in the world we're in, and we'll see this time and again, as we start going through these shows that are to come, I'll show you how this applies in the real world, but even as I start talking about this, you will you might start to see it and, and experience it more. Everything pretty much that we see in the outside world is everybody pointing the finger at everybody else. We always blame other people. The most recent one is the online hate campaigns, and we're always pointing the finger at other people saying, it's you, you need to be more kind to other people, you need to take responsibility. The key to all of this work is to bring it back to us all the time come back to us. We solve our problems in life by taking responsibility for our life to begin with, first and foremost. And the second part of that, which is huge, 
and we will get into it in a lot of detail, is being kind to yourself. It is something that I repeat constantly to the people I work with. It is repeated throughout the book time and time again, being kind to ourselves, something you probably are not aware of if you've got problems in your life. You may be, some people are acutely aware of this, but many people aren't. I wasn't when I first started going through this process is just how mean you are being to yourself inside your own head. So one of the keys to this work is to be able to be kind to yourself as you progress and make changes. That's that. The chapter, the R chapter is realizations, a whole load of things in there about little tips and tricks I've learned over time. Really interesting lessons, important lessons that are the foundation for all of this stuff. The A is accept, allow and process. So that ties into the the emotional repression from the first part of the book. It's all about how we can start to learn how to identify our emotions, accept them, allow them, and process them. That's all part of the healing and transformation process. The N is needs, wants, and responsibility. Needs, wants, and boundaries. So this is all about how we meet our own needs, which we'll get into in a lot more detail how we meet our own needs, how we figure out what we really want in life, which is not something we talk about much. It's incredible when we get into this. And it it was one of the things that blew my mind a lot because it's, I I think we probably all think we live in quite a selfish world. There's an element of our lives that are not selfish enough. And it's difficult to sum that up because it sounds, or it automatically makes people recoil when you say we need to be more selfish. It's being selfish in a very specific way and making sure we're looking after ourselves in order that we can help other people more. So it's being selfish to begin with in order to be more selfless ultimately, which is a huge part of this. The S is one of my favorite things, which again, there was an episode on last year, but we'll we'll dig into it even more. And the, it's the stories we tell ourselves. So one of the things that again, really shocks people when you get into this, is the vast majority of our lives are just stories. That's all it is. The things we tell ourselves about the past, the things we tell ourselves about the future, they're just stories. And when we can see them for what they are and we can break them down and we can stop bullshitting ourselves and we can stop blaming everyone else. One of the things I talk about this, this is like Karate Kid training, if you're old enough to remember the Karate Kid, where you're doing all of these different things to learn loads of different techniques and tools. And you might not realize as you go through the process how it's all tying together until you get to the end and then it all comes together. The stories we tell ourselves is a huge part of that. Uh, The F is about finding our true self. So that's when we start bringing together loads of the multiple, multiple personality work and figuring out who we really are and who we really want to be. The O is a massive part of this as well. It ties massively into the Uh, the personality work which is our darkness and it's one of the bits that I really love and it it, it's one of the reasons I hate when people refer to me as a life coach or ask me if I'm a life coach because to me the story I have in my head about life coaches is it's all about being really positive and telling yourself you're lovely and uh, doing all nice things and that is not what this work is at all there is an element of that obviously but It's more about looking at ourselves for who we truly are, including our own darkness. That ties into the taking responsibility. It ties into the personality stuff. The R stands for reunite. And that is when we bring all of this together. We we take all of the work we've done about all the different personalities we have, and we bring it all back to who we're really meant to be and who we really want to be. And the M is make peace, which ultimately wraps it all together and helps us to be at peace with who we really are instead of the stories we've told ourselves over the years about who we are. That is a very quick run through what all the sections are. Uh, We will dig into all of them in more detail. If you wanna buy the book, what we'll do in in these episodes to come is go through all of the theory, basically. I might throw in some exercises for you to try out, but we won't go through them all because the book is packed full of the types of exercises I would use if I was coaching you. The, something I tell say to everybody I coach is this is not, think about it like learning the guitar. People, if, if I said to you, can you play the guitar? And you said, I can play it in my head. Would you count that as being able to play the guitar? No. It's a bit like going to the, I always use the analogy of going to the gym as well. To get fit in the gym, if you were coming to see me as a personal trainer, I can tell you where the weights are. I can tell you what weights to lift, but I can't lift them for you. 
you have to lift them for yourself. And the difference between people making changes in their life with this work and not, and the people who make rapid changes and people who don't, often is how much work they put in. No different to training in the gym. You have to put the work in. So the exercises in the book, it's packed full of them. And it's all about sitting down and actually doing the exercises. So we might throw a few in as we go so you can get a taste of them. But if you really want to get value out of this, it's worth getting the book and going through those exercises. Um, and then, as I say, the last section, we, we hit those those big topics, love relationships, healing illnesses, changing the world. And I show you how the philosophy and the theory and what I'm seeing in practice now with all of the stuff in the rest of the book can solve these huge world issues. If you want me to, as we go through, I will probably, and I might do this out of interest anyway, as news topics come up, as big news incidents come up, we've got a very big one at the moment, obviously, as I'm filming this, we're still all being affected by COVID, which massively ties into all of the work I've done and do with people and all of the things I've just run through. Uh, there's so many elements of this stuff that could genu genuinely transform the planet right now if everybody did all of the work. That's unlikely to happen. It's one of the key things in this. We can't control the rest of the world. We can only control ourselves. So the key to changing the world, to give you a little hint, is to sort yourself out first. That's what we'll focus on in this work. Um, and any questions you've got, anything that you want answering, if you, I've set up a new email address that you can just send questions to, which is questions at paul7cope.com. I'll put that in the show description so you can see. Um, send questions in if you've got problems in your life. What I will do is I might get some people on the show and we can talk them through and you can see live how we go through these things and we figure them out and we go back to basics and we go back to the beginning and we solve problems that you think is one thing when it's actually another. We'll talk a lot about magic tricks and illusions because I love all of that. Um, and that's it. That's a very quick run, run through of what the book is and where we're gonna go with it. I will keep saying as we go through this, you can get the first four chapters of the book for free. So you can try it out either in the written version or the audio version. And you can listen to those chapters, read those chapters. If you don't like them, you can just get rid of it. You never have to hear from me again. If you would like to see them, go to my website, paul7cope.com slash free chapters. Again, I'll put a link in the show notes and check it out. It's, it's a big book. It's, I had to stop myself at one point and I said to myself, I don't have to put everything I've ever thought in this book, but it is packed full of all of this stuff. It's, it's stuff I've spent tens of thousands of pounds, thousands of hours and years of my life learning about, and I now coach other people on and they pay a lot of money to be coached individually on it. Um, the whole point of this is to get it out to more people, as I said earlier. I want I want this information to get out in as in as easy and understand as an easy to understand way as possible to as many people as possible because it can genuinely change your life and if it can my thing about changing the world is if if you can change your life and then you can help one more person change their life that's how we get viral growth that's how we change the world stop pointing the finger at everybody else sort ourselves out help someone else do it that's how we make a big difference so. That's the point, that's the idea. Get in touch if you've got any questions. Share this with anybody you think might be interested in hearing more about it. There will be some interviews coming up. I've got a big interview I'm gonna share with you, which for me is really, really powerful. That'll be coming out in the next week or so to coincide with the book launch. Give me a shout with any questions. Any comments you've got, put them in the comments. And that's it. I can't wait to share it all with you. I will see you soon.